Hey beautiful people, this is Amelia here. How are you all doing today? I hope everyone is having some lovely weather at the beginning of July. I know in Vancouver we are not. It's been raining, it feels like a month straight and it's kind of like November weather. So <laughs> it's been interesting and hence why I'm dressed all cozy today. Um, so today I just want to show you something really simple, how to make cashew cheese. And really, it's not as complicated as you might think, and it's actually really easy to make really delicious. And I'm just basically going to use cashews, lemon juice, maybe a little bit of apple cider vinegar, some salt, and I am also going to put in some probiotics and let it ferment for 24 hours. That's optional. You totally don't have to do that. You can also use nutritional yeast if you like and add that in. Um, you can add roast or raw garlic. Um, you can add in dill. There's tons of things that you can do, but if you want just the basic recipe, this is what I'm going to share with you today. So I have my cashews, about a cup that I have been soaking for, I don't know, around five hours so far. Basically what I do is I put the cashews in and then I cover it with about an inch of water and then I like to add in apple cider vinegar. Um, this is called activating. So when you hear about people saying activated nuts or activated seeds, this is essentially what it is. It's a soaking process. All plants have a kind of anti-nutrient built up around them. It's kind of like, I like to describe it as like the skin on the human body. It's essentially there to keep bacteria out and that's kind of what the like protective layer, the anti-nutrient layer of the plants and seeds and nuts are. So if you want to get more out of your nuts and seeds, it is a really good idea to soak them. Same with your grains. For cashews, I'd say you only really need about four to five hours, especially if you're using a high power blender like a Vitamix. Um, although if you're using like a lower, a lower power blender or a food processor, you could soak them for six to seven hours as well or just overnight too. So I've soaked these guys. I'm going to just drain the water out. Super easy. Just gonna pour them into my blender, get like all the little bits out here. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Essentially the whole point of soaking your nuts and your grains is to make them more bioavailable so that when you do eat them, um, you've gotten rid of all the anti-nutrients, the protective outer coating of the nuts and seeds and the plants, so that when you chew them and ingest them and they start to move through your digestive system, they're a lot easier to absorb and you get more of the protein and the carbohydrate and all the minerals and vitamins. It's essentially like getting more bang for your buck, so it's pretty awesome. It's a good process. All right, so we've got the cashews in here. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water. Not a ton, just to get just to get this guy mixing. And then I'm just gonna get a tiny little fork and I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice in. Not a ton, you can just start with half a lemon or even like a tablespoon of lemon juice if you like. I do tend, I do like quite a bit of that lemony flavor in my cashew dressing. Sorry, my cashew cheese. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to add just a pinch of salt. So like this. In. Amazing. And then I'm going to take, I think I'll do one capsule of my probiotic. And like I said, that's optional if you don't want to ferment your cashew cheese and you just want to eat it right away. You don't have to do this. It's totally optional. Okay, and then I'm going to add in just a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar. If you can see that, maybe just a splash. I kind of like the tangy flavor that it gives the cheese. Perfect. I believe that's everything. If there are any other ingredients that I ended up adding, um, or that tastes really great, I will put them in the notes. But for now, I think we're just gonna do this, so I'm just gonna pop the lid on and blend this guy up, and then I will pour out and explain the fermentation process. 
Okay, so we'll just start it out on a low. Enough. Here we go. So it should be a semi semi smooth consistency. Um, if you like, you're more than welcome to add olive oil. That's what I do if it needs if it just to help the um, blender motor run more smoothly. Yeah, but just just do whatever you like. Get it to the consistency you like, and then we will just pour it into this glass container, and I will cover it with this beeswax wrap and I will just place it really close to the oven vent to help the fermentation process. But that's pretty much it. Okay, so I've got my little container of cashew cheese. I am just going to place that just up here, close to my oven. That's where the heat comes out and it just helps the fermentation process. I will probably leave that out for the next 24 hours. Um, and you can leave it up, I think, to 48 hours even if you really want like a strong tangy flavor. So yeah, it's a pretty easy process. Honestly, it only takes a few ingredients. Of course, if you like, you can always add nutritional yeast. That always gives it like more of a cheesy flavor. But if you don't have it available or can't find it at your grocery store, cashews, salt, and lemon juice, and a bit of water, maybe olive oil, really go a long way. And I would say this lasts in the fridge up to six or seven days, um, but just keep an eye on that. Honestly, it's so good. You'll probably eat it in like three days. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, just press like below. If you want to see more videos by me, more recipes and kind of holistic lifestyle tips, just hit subscribe and hit the bell as well so that you'll be notified whenever I put out my next video. Okay, hope you have a beautiful day. I'll see you all soon. Bye.